Well, hey gamers, just got the uh, RG Cube, been messing around with it, and I wanted to kind of show you how I've set mine up and set up the retro achievement. So let's get into it. Okay, so the Anbernic RG Cube is a newer device, um, and, and the reason I like it so much is because it has a great form factor, which you could see by the grips here on the side. This is really important for me, because um, normally if I'm gonna spend my time playing a game, it's gonna be something a little more comfortable, but this is just perfect for like quick sessions or if you're you know somewhere else away from your console. The other thing I really like about it is the size of the screen because it's like perfect if, if for me specifically wanting to play like Game Boy, Game Boy Color games, even things from Genesis and Super Nintendo, it just looks really good on this screen. So emulation station right here, desktop edition for Android. Um, this is something that you could download from their website. And, you know, and I just generally use this the way it came. I just did some modifications, popped in an SD card with my ROMs, just made it super simple. But once you find RetroArch, open that up. Now I'm using the XMB interface. Uh, just kind of easy to navigate. Looks like uh, PlayStation, but you can find that in the options. But uh, moving over, you can then scroll down. Kind of hard to see. It's tiny here, isn't it? But uh, there's an option for the achievements. So what you want to do is go to RetroAchievements.com and just sign up for an account Remember the username and password. And when you select into there, you can see where you can turn on the achievements. You can scroll down, put in your username, your password, and then there's just some other options that you can go through depending on what you want to have pop up, if you want to do hardcore mode or not, uh, things like that. The other thing I'm utilizing is AnyHome. With AnyHome, I can then set it to make the Emulation Station Desktop Edition to be the home screen for this device. So then by using this, it's like a dedicated handheld because I'm, while it is Android, I'm turning it on, it loads right into the home. Um, I can navigate away, press the home button, it takes me right to this. And so we'll look at some stuff here real quick. Like if I wanted to do a uh, Game Boy, all right, we'll load into Castlevania Legends. And then you can see as it's starting, it's loading what achievements I've gotten so far. It shows down at the bottom that I'm logged in. That's something you want to check for anytime you're launching a game, making sure it's saying that you've logged into Retro Achievements and at the top showing that there are achievements. There are times when you might be launching a game while signing into Retro Achievements and it'll say, well, this game has not been found. Okay, and I said RetroAchievements.com. It's RetroAchievements.org. But uh, this is a good place to kind of go to see, like, you know, what you've been up to. So let's go to my profile. And showing you just a minute ago, I was playing Castlevania Legends. So you can see how it's, like, constantly always... Uh, keeping up to date with what you're doing, logging the achievements, but it does require you to be online all the time. So if you're going to be somewhere without internet, you're actually not going to get those achievements. But for instance, let's say you load up a game and it says game cannot be found, even though you know this game has achievements. Go to retroachievements.org, click on the game. Over on the right is supported game files. Click on that. And then you can see here where it's showing two games that are registered to have the achievements. There's uh, this basic one that has uh, Super Game Boy Enhanced on it, and then there's another one that's Dark Knight Prelude. I actually don't know what that is unless that's just the Japanese version, so it just has a different name to it. But anyway, you go by this, and it's basically just searching this to make sure you find the right, the right ROM that will actually have the achievements pop up for you, because you don't want to be playing a game for a while and realize, oh, wait a minute, this one wasn't the correct ROM for the achievements. Well, anyway, so that was a quick look at the RG Cube just to show you use any home. That way you can designate what you want the home screen to be. I'm using Emulation Station, so it gives it this cool just console-like look. You don't even know you're using Android. Uh, also, RetroAchievements.org. Go there, register, so when you're in RetroArc, you can log in. But also, within some other emulators, they do have options to log into Retro Achievements, just in case you're not using RetroArc. So anyway, that was a quick video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any uh, questions. Just leave them in the comments below, but we'll talk later.